Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bess and Intuitive Tarot. And today's reading, I will be doing a quick weekly check-in look at Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of May 12th through the 18th. However, my readings are timeless. Time is fluid, so regardless of when this video, you know, was made, it's whenever you stumble upon the reading, okay? That's when Spirit wants you to hear the message. Universe, Spirits, and Guides, what we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus regarding their love life? from May 12th through the 18th or whenever they stumble upon this reading. I will be using two separate decks for this reading. One is the right away I will be using to represent your side of the story and the Gilded Tarot to represent your partner's side of the story. I will then clarify both using my Mystical Cat Tarot deck. I do this so that I can see if you guys are mirroring the same energies or are on the same page. I will then be pulling three Romance Angels to get an overview of your romantic situation. And then I will pull two Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle cards to get a little advice from Spirit. Guys, I won't be doing the intuitive uh, exercise in the weekly reading, so those are reserved for the monthly reading. So if you haven't seen those yet, go to my playlist and look for Sagittarius monthly, May monthly reading and check out that exercise because we all have intuition and we, we just sometimes don't trust it. So that little activity might help you. And if you're returning, Welcome, welcome back. Thank you. I love you guys. The support you guys have given me has been amazing. You guys have been telling me in the comments section how much I've helped you out, but really you guys have actually helped me out. You know, I've, I haven't been like perky these last couple of months and you guys have cheered me up every morning when I read your comments. You guys, the support, the donations, everything has really cheered me up and my family, okay? You have no idea how much I needed that. All right, Universe Spirits and Guides. What we have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius. Any cross watchers dealing with a Sagittarius? I know you guys like to watch the Rita Shuffles. That's why I'm doing it during my preamble. But I've already made my intentions known and did a thorough pre-shuffle behind the scenes. Alright. Wow, these, this deck is hard to shuffle. Alright, two more and we're going to go. All right, let's rock this deck. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Sagittarius, your last two readings were amazing. Let's see if you can keep the trend. Just don't drown me again. <laughs> ah, I want to fill. The overall energy on the bottom of your deck is the Page of Cups. Let's get the lifeboats ready, folks. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody has a love offer coming for Saggy. Somebody loves you. Somebody's feeling loved up. It doesn't have to be a full-fledged love, but there's definitely a cute little crush here. Somebody has a crush on you, Sagittarius, and it could be a water sign. They got a lot of love for you in this cup. It may look like a sardine, but it's really very important to them. That's that's not just a fish, that's their heart. You 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 took their heart. But they still have it, but they want to present it to you. But let's keep going over on your person's side of the world. And if you feel like you resonate more with this side of the table, take it however it resonates. Flip flop the characters. They're interchangeable. Take it however it resonates. Just don't try and force a square inside of a circle. Two more shuffles. Alright, let's rock the deck. Alright, over on your person's side. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. Thank you. I love you. Love you. Their overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords. They are wanting to make a decision. What's that decision about, though, Sagittarius? You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But they're in two different worlds right now about you. They're wanting to just take, make a decision blindfolded. They're following their heart. This person's definitely following their heart. But what, what other choices are they needing to make, though? Maybe this person wanted to be single and independent at one point, but the love for you just caught them off guard and they just want to go for it. Hmm. Let's find out more. Let's get nosy. All right. Over on your side. The King of Cups. I swear you guys watched me shuffle. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But myself as a reader, I see this more as Pisces. This person has a lot of love for you. They have a lot of love for you. This person, I don't think ever felt this way about somebody before. I feel like this person just always took dates or dating casually and that might be the reason why the two of swords is here 
because this person is so used to being single. This person is used to being independent and just doing their own thing and maybe going on a date or two, but they never wanted to invest in those type of people. Not those type of people. I don't mean it that way. I meant they would date them like two or three times and then move on to the next person because they didn't want to fully invest in somebody. That's what I meant by that. Whew. This person wants to take you past the third date mark and keep on going. This person is very emotional about you. This person doesn't say it too much though, but they feel it. This person just doesn't vocalize it that much. But when they fall, they fall pretty hard. But let's keep going. They're weighing out a decision. It's all over the board. They're weighing out a decision. Do I stay single and independent or I go out with Saggy some more? Should I stay single and independent or should I go out with Saggy some more? Single, Saggy, single, Saggy, single, Saggy. Ah! They love you. You're in their head. But I feel like they're going for you because this is the pros, and this is the cons. The cons is like up in the air, and the pros is just in trajectory with the other ship. So the ship's getting closer. Your ships are arriving. This person wants you. Your pros, what they think of you, weighs so heavy in their hand. They're like, oh my god, I love everything about Saggy. But I like being single. But I love Saggy. But I like being single. There's definitely a lot of love here. But somebody's not being that vocal about it. Oh, and it's left you feeling depressed. Could be dealing with a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Is somebody not talking? Somebody's being a little stubborn with their feelings, huh? Like I said, this, this King of Cups loves hard but doesn't always share it. They, they, they control their emotions so well. You will never know if this person liked you. You could be saying everything from, I love you, you're the best person in my life, and they'll barely blink. That's this person. And I think it's gotten you way in your head thinking, this person doesn't like me. What the heck? They show it, but they don't say it. In fact, this person gets a little bit cold on me and starts getting quiet. Not realizing they're just in their head trying to make a decision. They're just trying to make a decision. And like I said, they're in their head. They may be creating their own self-sabotage if they don't speak up soon. But, yeah, don't sweat it. I don't, I don't think you need to sweat it, but let's keep going. They see you as the Empress. This could also be Taurus Libra. They have never met anyone like you, Sagittarius. They haven't. You've gotten them to the point where they actually leave, want to leave their player ways or leave their, uh, their sense of independence away. And it's not that you would take away their independence, because I don't feel like I'm picking up on any Sagittarians that would, like control this person because this person is not to be controlled. I am picking up on someone who knows how to control themselves and they will not allow someone to walk all over them. But they see you as the Empress. They're manifesting this return. You just don't know it's behind the scenes. And you could also be manifesting this. Positive affirmations brings positive returns. Law of attraction. You believe it, you succeed it. If you believe it's yours, it will be yours within reason. Don't be trying to manifest Brad Pitt or Eminem. Ain't gonna happen. But within reason, if you, if you manifest it, law of attraction. It works. There's a lot of in internal conflict though. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I feel like this person really has become a little bit quiet during this time that they wanted to make their decision. This person doesn't make decisions lightly. This person definitely does not make decisions lightly. There's so many cards here that show me that this person is really deep in thought thinking. I'm surprised I didn't get the Hermit card. And this quietness has really left you down in a lot of eternal conflict. You guys are definitely not fighting. You guys are definitely not fighting. They could be fighting with people in, in their environment, but they're definitely not fighting with you. They see you as an empress. They would not fight with you. 
I think they would like go hide for a few weeks before they ever raise their voice at you. This person really adores you. This person really adores you. They wouldn't raise their voice at you. So if they're fighting with anybody, it's it's people outside of you. Give me um give me two on the five of wands. Why is this five of wands here? Let's get nosy. Why is the five of wands here, please? Give me two on the five of wands. Give me one more. We got a match on the board. Emperor and Empress. True pair. Under the bottom of the deck, the good kitty, which is the judgment card. A decision is going to be needed to be made. There's two separate decision-making cards on here, and then we got the, the judgment card. Whatever they're deciding, it's time to decide now. Judgment's here. But the cards that came out is the Emperor and the Empress together. The Empress and the Emperor came out together, Sagittarius. We already have Empress on the board, but I was clarifying the Five of Wands and the Empress and the Emperor came out. They're, they're fighting for this love. They may be conflicting with a bunch of people in their environment. Maybe they're, they're, their people are saying that they're moving too quickly with you, or this, that, or the other, or they have little opinions about you, or this is your family doing it to you, but you guys know what this is it. You know what's up. You know what this connection means to you guys. You guys are soulmates. You guys are a divine union, a divine couple, a divine partnership. You guys, jeez, you guys manifested something good. You see this person as the emperor and they see you as the empress. Take it however it resonates. You could be seeing this person as the empress and they're seeing you as the emperor. Regardless, this is a great pair. A great pair. Wow. Let me get, um... Let me get two on the Two of Pentacles. I don't normally do thorough weekly ones, but I'm getting nosy. I usually do thorough ones on monthlies. One more. All right. On the bottom of the deck, Two of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person sees you as their soulmate. For Rizzle. The Three of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles came out for the Two of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They see that you are a person that they work well with. I work well with Saggy, my single independence. I work well with Saggy, my single independence. But they can't fight it. And they want to tell you that they see you as wife material, husband material. King of Pentacles is husband material, whatever gender. And they work well with you. You could have met this person at work, but you both have the same goal. You guys have the same eye on the prize. You guys share similar goals, and they like that about you. They like how you both have the same goals because that means there's no way to derail if you guys were to be together. They won't have to sacrifice anything that they want because you guys want the same thing. This is great. All right, I made the weekly too long. <laughs> Let me get three romance angels. If you haven't already, hit like and subscribe. Not taking that many. All right, universe, spirits, and guides, give me three. Just three, please. I already made this weekly longer than I wanted. Just don't like shortchanging you guys. Give me three. While you wait, hit subscribe. Whoa! Give me two more. Whoa! Whoa! Jeez! Those wanted to fly out. They did fly out. Flirt. Extend your lightheartedness energy with others. Heck to the air. Yeah. Flirt. When this person comes in, you better put your A game on. Trust the process. This situation is calling for you to have faith. What have we been saying all along? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Dude, they connect. This person loves how lighthearted and fun you are and how fiery and ambitious. Never let that go. This person loves that about you. Sometimes when we're with people, we tend to lose ourselves in the process. Never lose your lightheartedness, your flirtiness, your playfulness, because this person loves that about you. They do. Give me two advice cards. Give me two advice cards for Sagittarius. Oop. Believe and succeed. Didn't I not just say that? When when I pulled out the, man of, the magician card, I said, believe it and succeed it. I said it. Rewind. I said, believe it and succeed it. This person wants you. Believe it and succeed it. Clarity of belief and flow. Go with the flow. 
You're going to have a lot of clarity soon. You're going to believe what you've been succeeding. I totally messed up that up, but look at this. Look at this. This says believe and succeed, and this says clarity and belief. My fat fingers are blocking it. Look at that. Just go with the flow. Let go of any control issues, if you have any. Get some clarity and belief coming, if you believe and succeed. This is great, Sagittarius. You have just been, you have been dominating my readings with such lovey doveyness I'm jealous. I wish I had Sagittarius in my chart. I don't. But in the meantime, hit like, hit subscribe, leave me a comment down below what you think of my new channel. Share, 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 share. And as always, thank you for tuning in to Best and Intuitive Tarot. Later.